We see all big creators using all kinds of editing tricks to get our attention and make us love their videos. At first glance, as a beginner editor, it may seem complicated to apply the same techniques, but today you will transform your editing skills and step up to the next level easily and fast. I will show you three techniques that will help you step up your editing skills and how to apply them easily in DaVinci Resolve. These three techniques have a powerful visual impact that will transform your videos into productions that are more pleasing to watch with a professional look. I will guide you through what I believe are the easiest methods without anything complicated or hard to use plugins or techniques that take a long time. Everything is easy and fast. The number one technique you see in almost any talking head video will change the aspect of your videos a lot, but you will apply this differently for a solid color or another video. Let's pretend you have a video and you want to make it small. As for the shape of it, you want it to have round corners. The round corners will change the aspect a lot. This will look more professional. It's easy to do it, but tricky, there are some specific things you need to know to do it right. So let's pretend we have on the screen a keynote slide. And in this video, we want to be on the right side with round corners. I have the video on a track above the keynote slide. If you go in the transform tab, you don't have anything to make round corners, but we can fix it. So go in the effects tab, right here, open effect on the left side and drag the transform effect on your video. You need to use this transform. On the right side, at the effect, you will find the transform controls and you can set everything as you like it and under image adjustment. Just click on it to expand it. Click on crop uncrop and now we have here edge rounding. And this is the key. Drag it to the right to make it as you want and after adjust the crop left right, top and bottom. It's that easy. And after, change the position, but here in the effect transform. If you go and change the position in the video tab, you will move the video in this cropped frame if you want that. It's super important not to change the size of the video or crop it in the video tab before applying this transform effect. So I will show you what not to do. I have my video here and I didn't apply anything on it. Now, I will resize it and crop it here in the video tab. After, of course, to make the round corners, I will apply the transform effect from the open effects tab. Go into the effects, image adjustment, activate crop and crop, and when you drag the edge rounding, you will see that it will apply this to the full image, like it's another layer on top of it. If you try a little bit, you will find the toning for it, but it's a pain to do it. Remember, don't change the zoom or the crop in the video tab before applying the transform effect. And now another super important situation you can find yourself in is this. Let's pretend I have a color grading to this image and I made a vignette to make the light more on the center where I am. And I made a node with the faded window and decreased the exposure. If I apply the transform on it, make the round corners and adjust the crop, when I change the position to the right, I can see that the image will move under the vignette. And this is bad because the brightness will also change. Look at the brightness here, we don't want that. So what we can do is reset everything, right click on the video that we want to make it with round corners and click new compound clip and create the compound clip. Next, add the transform effect to the compound clip and go to adjust the round corners and the crop as you like it. And now when we move this compound clip to the right or the left, we don't have any problem. Just keep this in mind, we never know in what kind of strange situation we can be in. And if you want to create a background with round corners for a text as an example, you can work the same. Right click on the solid, create a new compound clip and apply the transform and the settings on the compound clip. It's that easy. Now let's move to the next technique that will be very helpful if you want to visually help your viewer by highlighting a specific area. I have this video here with my Rodecaster Duo. Let's pretend I want to talk about the channels and the pads and I want to highlight that area for you. I want to create this kind of animated circle around this pad or this animated rectangle around this fader. Yes, you don't need any plugins, it's easy and fast to do it. Okay, let's go into the effects tab, effects and drag an adjustment layer on top of your video. Next, let's go to the fusion page. Don't worry, it's super easy. First, click on media in one, press space shift, search for background and add it. Click on the background and choose the color you want your circle to be. 
For this example, let's make it red. Next, choose the ellipse here, uncheck the solid here on the right side and increase the border width, make it as you like it. Next, adjust the width and height to make it as big as you want, but keep the proportions to keep it a circle if you want that, or if you want, you can create an oval shape. And next, from the center values, find the perfect position. All good until now, but we want it to be animated. Go to the frame where you want your animation to start, and on the right side where we have length, make the first keyframe and drag the slider to the left. Next, move the playhead where you want your animation to finish, create the second keyframe and drag the slider to the right. And now you have a good looking animated circle. Next, you can activate the spline here, adjust the zoom to see everything, select both keyframes and press the S key on the keyboard to make the animation smoother. Now, let's add another adjustment layer. Go to the Fusion page, click on Media in 1, press Shift Space and add a background. Choose the color and now let's choose the rectangle instead of the circle. Now, don't forget to deactivate the solid and increase the border width. Adjust the height, the width and position. Next, the same thing, go to the frame where you want your animation to start, create the first keyframe on the length, drag the slider to the left, move the playhead to the frame where you want your animation to finish, create the next keyframe and drag the slider to the right. Go to spline, select the keyframes, press S and now you have an animated square. Why I told you to create them on separate adjustment layers? Because now you can easily change the moment when you want the animation to start or create a copy. But don't forget to change the position, you need to go to the fusion page again and adjust the center values. It's easy and fast, but with a great powerful impact on your videos. Now let's find out the third super cool technique. But first, if you find this video useful, don't forget to press the like button and maybe subscribe. Thank you. And now I will show you how to create that highlighter effect on a text. This looks so good and I will show you two ways to do it. The first one it's easier and doesn't require any plugin. And the second one looks super cool and more realistic, but you need to install a free plugin. For the first method, let's pretend we have this text here and we want to highlight this part. To do that, go to Effects, Generators and drag above your text a solid color. Let's make it green for this example. Now crop it and position it exactly as you want above your text. To do it easier, you can lower the opacity a little bit to see where you will position your solid. Next, on Composite Mode, choose Overlay, this will look better, and adjust the opacity to make it look exactly as you want. And now let's create the animation. Move the playhead to the first frame where you want your animation to start and set the keyframe on crop right. Next, adjust the crop to make the solid disappear. Next, move the playhead where you want your animation to finish, set the second keyframe and adjust the crop right as long as you want. And now you will have this animated highlighter. But now for the second version, you need to install this free plugin that I found. It was made by William. Thank you. I will add the link in the description. Go to this page if you want to donate something that will be great or if you don't add zero, add your email and name and download the plugin. After double click on it and it will easily install. Mine will overwrite because it's already installed. And now if you go to effects, just highlighter it's here. You can drag it directly on your video but I suggest you drag it on an adjustment layer because you can copy this or move it easier if you want. So go to Effects, add an adjustment layer and after drag the highlighter on the adjustment layer. And immediately you will see the highlighter on the screen. Now you can adjust the position, the width, the height, change the color, adjust the blend, add some blur if you want or change the duration of the animation. Less is quicker and more is slower. We have some settings for the animation but the easing is perfect. So you can just keep it as it is. And now let's go to display settings. Here you can play with the contrast, details, seeth and refraction to make it look more realistic. If you adjust them a little bit, you can make it super realistic like a real highlighter on a paper. Also, if you want, you can increase the seeth rate and this will create a permanent animation, a little bit of movement. And because you dragged this on an adjustment layer, you can copy it super simple or change the position fast. These tricks are really important, but if you truly want to create better talking head videos, you need more. And I have another dedicated video where I show you exactly some extremely important tricks that will help you to achieve greatness when it comes to editing your videos.